Hello, my name is Karina Bixby, and the title of my presentation is Monitoring for Future Management, Great Blue Heron Habitat in Discovery Park. Throughout my capstone internship, I worked with Friends of Discovery Park to analyze the resident Great Blue Heron population that roosts at the Ballard Locks directly northeast of the park. Friends of Discovery Park manages the restoration and preservation of natural areas within the park, and even as large uh, as a large park of around 534 acres, Discovery Park is still a city park and as such acts as a large habitat provider for many species. The reason I studied Great Blue Heron specifically is because they are a keystone species, which means their activities affect their habitat in a way that ties them to the many levels of the ecosystem and that helps define the ecosystem as a whole. Due to this, my research question for my capstone project was how are Great Blue Heron population trends related to the habitat of Discovery Park? So the way that I went about conducting my research was by conducting a survey of observational data of Great Blue Heron activity um, while I was on location at Discovery Park. I routinely visited seven primary site locations around the park with varying habitat types such as bluff, beach, forested land, meadow, wetland, and more developed areas with buildings. My visit at each of these locations could last anywhere between five minutes to about one and a half hours and I rotated about how much time I spent at each and in what order and what time of day with some restrictions. I collected survey data wherever I saw a great blue heron, which I identified by sight and sometimes with the help of my binoculars. I included all sightings and noted whether the bird was in flight or not, and if it was, or if it was not, then what behavior it was exhibiting, such as roosting or foraging. Additionally, to provide my host organization with a more robust data set, I also aggregated data from iNaturalist, which is a citizen science website that allows for community reports of wildlife sightings. I included iNaturalist data from a two-year period and if it had a positive photographic proof of a great blue heron sighting. The results of my research can be seen in figure two and three in the center column. Figure two shows a map of Discovery Park with my sightings in red and the iNaturalist data in blue. Looking at the map, there are hot spots around the park where sightings seem to be more common. And if you look to figure three, you can see the habitat makeup of these areas. As you can see, there is a primary use of shore-like habitat. Other habitat types such as bluff, forest, buildings, and meadow were found using the iNaturalist data, although there is a clear concentration of great blue heron sightings around and near the shore and bluffs of the park, um, where my findings specifically were centered on. Um, it's possible that this is due to seasonality, as well as myself being the only one surveying the park during this three-month period, although, as stated, I did have multiple sites and common walking trails throughout other habitat types without seeing a heron in those upland areas. The implications of this data is not only that the shores of Discovery Park provide the most habitat and feeding grounds for great blue herons, but also that the maintenance and rest restorative projects by Friends of Discovery Park, which aim to directly benefit great blue herons, should concentrate in the beach environment. A lack of sightings in the upland areas of the park could be due to factors such as seasonality, increased presence of people and dogs, or a present or a potentially more bountiful foraging area along the beach. However, further study is recommended into why this population dispersal is seen, um, and further study into the Great Blue Herring population overall. I would like to thank my site supervisor and my faculty advisor, as well as my friends and family who made it possible for me to get back and forth to Discovery Park to do this research. And thank you for listening to my presentation.